Hello and welcome to another episode of Lisp Game Engine Devlog. So today is week 11 of the year 2024 and yeah, what I've been doing this week. So I've started with this issue that's been found by one of my subscribers in Mastodon. Uh, so he found this problem that on Mac OS, uh, probably on all of the versions, not only on M1, there's a problem with PNG files that are 16-bit. So those are rare beasts they are rarely used, but still, yeah, I somehow managed to use that in my tutorial. Uh, and yes, yeah, so it was garbled, the output was all wrong. Uh, so yeah, he reported this problem and uh, some guy from the Allegro team actually made a patch and um, I actually tested this patch uh, under the uh, virtual machine with uh, macOS and it worked perfectly. I mean, I've got mixed up the branches uh, from the repository, but yeah, in the end it was uh, perfect. So uh, after that, this guy, this author of the patch says that the only issue left is the pre-multiplied alpha and he doesn't know how that works. So if you have any proficiency in pre-multiplied uh, alpha PNG files, so you're welcome to help uh, with that. That. So yeah, I'll leave the link below, uh, down below the video. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing on Monday. Uh, so then through the week I worked a little on the second part of my tutorial. So here's the first part. I'm still working on the second one. So it is the slow progress, but yeah, I mean, I already uh, got the name for that. So I think I would uh, caption the second part, the Dungeons and GUEs. Uh, get it? It's like the reference to Dungeons and Dragons. But yeah, anyway, so that would be the second part of this tutorial. And yeah, that's that. Uh, so then, uh, by the end of the week, on Friday, I actually uh, managed to release a new uh, library, which would be the integral part of the forthcoming Lisp game engine. Uh, so it is called CL Fast Behavior Trees. And as you can imagine, it adds the support for the behavior trees into the engine, which is the important uh, like building block of the uh, AIs in games, the artificial intelligence uh, things. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I've uh, actually did the very first version, so I've <clears throat> I've dubbed it uh, like 0.0.1, so it is very early. It doesn't have any documentation at all, and yeah, it doesn't even have the nice icon like I have here in CLFastECS, the first building block of my uh, game engine. So yeah, this one got the nice icon like that, and some like nice badges, etc., some documentation. Uh, this one doesn't have anything, so yeah, I would have to work on the, uh, on the actual documentation, but yeah, before that, uh, it's already got a little uh, like suit of tests, the unit tests. So let me quickly show you how that looks. So here are those tests. And to use this um, behavior tree library, you just use this macro called define behavior tree. Of course, you don't use eval in the real uh, usage uh, scenarios. It's just for the test suit. So yeah, you use this macro define behavior tree, you define the nodes, you can supply some parameters to these nodes. So there's the bunch of ready-made uh, nodes, uh, node types. So it is like repeat or dummy true, which always uh, succeeds or like dummy false, which always fails. And then then there are yeah, some standard building blocks like repeat node or, for instance, a fallback node, etc. It is just a small set of these predefined uh, behavior tree nodes. And you can define your own um, like node for this behavior tree, but for that you use different macro, and I haven't even write a tests for that yet. So yeah, this is all uh, forthcoming. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. So actually to implement to release this library, I had to add some small addition to the ECS library, which is uh, this tiny function called system exists p. So the thing is, I've of course uh, have the uh, like macro to define a new system, and recently I've added the function to delete the system. But then I thought, well, I actually miss the function to check the existence of the system with given name. So this was easy because this is basically the part of this delete system uh, function, so it actually does the 
very same thing here. So this uh, function returns generalized boolean. It is either nil, which is like the only falsy value in common Lisp, or it returns the actual function that is the system uh, function, and now also by coincidence it is a truthy value. So you can use it in conditions, etc. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I've added this function, so all of this stuff is in the distribution uh, in quicklisp distribution called lucky lambda uh, it is our uh, distribution uh, so it got this new uh, behavior trees library and it got the new version of cl fast tcs and also i finally found a way how to properly set up this uh, thing so this nice uh, html page is actually rendered by the awesome library um, named redist which is made by yukari hafner and yeah like cheers for that uh, so yeah uh, i actually uh, managed to configure it so that it shows all of the previous releases now and then all of the links here are actually working right now so I host it in the uh, Cloudflare and now yeah I've set up all the links so that all of them are working so yeah that is uh, you can click on all that stuff and yeah it all works yay cool uh, so yeah that's that I also will uh, leave the link down below under the video in video description uh, so yeah the last uh, thing I wanted to show is uh, yeah that's actually all I've done this week so I've released this new uh, behavior trees library and yeah I'm going to have to work a little bit on documentation and on some niceness uh, next week um, so yeah I guess that's all from me for today uh, thank you very much for watching if you want more subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to me in mastodon so I'll leave all the links down below uh, so yeah have a nice week and bye